Neon! We love doing neon here. Not all sign companies do it anymore, but Proxy Vintage Vogue and the Karen Wiseman Collection in Garland, Texas, they're getting neon signs. You just can't beat neon for that cool nostalgic oomph that you just don't get with LEDs. Every day we look at signs. Some are beautiful, others not so much. For a business, any business, a good sign is crucial. So where does a good sign come from? Who creates these tantalizing works of art? In the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, it's done right here by the people at Signs Manufacturing. The people we call the Sign Dogs. I'm Karen Wiseman, and I am owner of the Karen Wiseman Collection in downtown Garland. I'm Tracy Claybrook, and I am the owner and purveyor of the Froxy Vintage Vogue. My business is all about vintage home decor. I have my own line of jewelry that I make. I have gift items, anything unique that you can't find at the big box stores I try to bring in here. Um, it's all about a shopping experience. Um, not your out of the box items, something different. I sell vintage clothing, uh, vintage accessories, some vintage jewelry, but I do make my own jewelry. And I also sell um, toy dioramas that are, you know, jewelry plates, or you can use them for incense burners, and I sell incense. So a variety of all things creative and curated by me. The Plaza Theater is all lit up in neon, and we needed to be seen, obviously. So that was the number one priority. But with the nature of our business, we're both purveyors of vintage items. Um, we just felt like that would be the perfect thing to set off the front of our store. We're in a historic building. It just made sense. We, and we don't want, the downtown itself, the city, does not want this to look like a strip mall. Exactly. They want it to stay, you know, historic and unique and artsy and all those other adjectives that, that people use to describe, um, you know, up and coming downtown. So Signs Manufacturing's been building signs for a long time, literally for 40 years. And in all that time, we've maintained a neon production plant here in-house. For many, many years, that was a mainstay of our business. But then LEDs came along and kind of started to displace neon and replace them. And we still maintain a neon production plant here in our shop. The volume of neon that we build these days has dropped, of course, but when you're trying to do something arts-like, there's just nothing better, which is why we've maintained the capability. So how did this place come about? I mean, how, did, how does it go from a, from a hobby to I, I started selling my jewelry in different small boutiques. And then I had an opportunity in February of 2019 to take over a spot down the street. So I put my jewelry in and then I'm a vintage fan. I do the vintage home goods. So I started, you know, collecting vintage things, brought in candles that friends made, just kind of tried to fill a store. In the meantime, Tracy was down at this side of, the, of Main Street in Garland, um, putting together the clothing store with um, another person. So they were down here doing their fashionista thing and I was down there doing my vintage decor thing and circumstances happened and Tracy had half a, a shop available. We had become friends because we both own shops in downtown and that's what downtown Garland is, a bunch of friends and um, she said, hey, come on down here because you want to be closer to the square because right. this was really where the action is. So I came down in October of 2019. And, and um, voila, she's still here. Yeah. <laughs> I told her it would only Thankfully. be. I said, it's just, just temporary because I'm difficult and I need my own space. Well, it's December of 2021 mm -hmm. now and we oh, made it through the yeah, pandemic. Wow. And we have, we're staying because we have these amazing signs outside. We started kind of a third business inside of this building. It's called the Art Lounge. 
how we teach art. This is an LED product that is designed to replace neon. And as you can see, it kind of looks like neon, at least from the front, although from the side it looks a little bit different. The reason that this has not been able to completely replace neon, even though it is not glass and therefore doesn't break, which is rather nice and people appreciate that, but the reason that it hasn't been able to replace neon is because when you're doing art, we can't bend this as tightly as we can neon. So therefore, if I'm trying to spell out your name or something like that, I can do it if the letters are this big. I can't do it if the letters are this big. So when you're dealing with neon and you're trying to do little tight bends and things like that, there's just nothing that beats it. And anytime you're doing anything that's artistic, those bends and things become critically important. Like on the Froxy sign. It started out as a, just a jewelry business. And then, um, so I started taking vintage pieces. This is vintage, it's called Clothes and A. Uh -huh. And um, I just clean it up and, and put nicer chain on it. Um, I use a lot of, I, I'm kind of getting away from it now, uh, but I used to use a lot of vintage pieces and would kind of tell a story with my jewelry. I've got these great pieces called My Vintage Boyfriend and I use old photographs and just kind of fun, whimsical things you wouldn't find anywhere else. Because why be like everybody else? So, so you, I guess, this was your hobby or? Yeah, I used to work in pharmaceutical research. I used to have like a big fancy job. And then as a hobby, I started making jewelry and started selling it to coworkers. And then um, I was tired of getting laid off because you know companies buy each other like crazy. Sure. And so I took some time off and thought, well, I'll just make jewelry for a little while and do some craft shows. So that was like 15 years ago. I haven't gone back. And now I own a shop and my jewelry's been all over the place. It's been in magazines, on TV shows, um, at red carpet events. Yeah, it's been really fun. We're in Garland, Texas. I got JJ, my cool guy JJ, got my other cool guy Mitch. Where you at Mitch? Got Mitch over here, check him out. Oh, he just went stealth. Okay. We are here at Garland, Texas, and we're going to put up a sign here for Frockies. Froxy. Froxies. Froxy Vintage Vogue. Vintage Vogue. I believe it's like a little jewelry store. And then Karen Wiseman sign. Apparently two, la two lovely ladies run this little store together. And this is old part of Garland right here. I think there's an old movie theater right over there. Check that out. It's got a cool sign. Tracy is, I call her my artichoke friend. Because every, like, we've known each other for a couple of years now, and I feel like I keep learning more things that you do. Same. Tracy is in a band. She sings. Really? She's an artist. <laughs> She's so many things. She taught, she taught, in, in, she taught art in Iceland. Oh, I mean, that's, nobody does that. I mean, people do. People, people do, right? Cool. Yeah, people do do that. Yeah. I taught art in Ireland, Iceland. I tried out for the 84 Olympics. Doing what? Roller speed skating. Really? Yeah. It's just all of these kind of disconjointed things Tracy and I have done between the two But of jointed, us. but, but, but it somehow, all makes sense. you know, it yeah. all makes sense in the, in the grand scheme of things. One of the problems that sometimes we have to deal with here at Signs Manufacturing is when a customer comes to us and says they want to do something really neat or creative or whatever with a building, and the building won't work for it. And that's one of the problems that we actually had here with the Froxy and, or, and Karen Wiseman collection. The building is a vintage, old, historical building, and it was not designed for things like electricity. So there's no place where we can actually put all our electrical components. And even if we tried to put them behind the wall or, or in the area that they kind of have there, there's no access to it. So what we've had to do here is something rather unusual. We've built a wireway behind the sign that sticks out past the end of the sign. 
so that that way it's actually serviceable from the front. And then to hide it, we painted it the exact same color of the wall and it's kind of recessed into this nook. I, I still teach college. I oh, yeah. teach uh, painting and drawing at Dallas College. Another layer of the artichoke. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. You're teaching how to make this art and all of that. Uh -huh. How did you get into it? Well, my uh, grandfather asked me when I was six what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I said a painter. I didn't really know what that was. But, um, and I've been making art since then. And I went to art school and got, you know, I have a multitude of degrees. Worked in film. I have a degree in computer animation, which led me into visual effects. And so I did that for 18 years in Hollywood. Owned a company downtown that did post-production, things like that. And then started teaching at the Art Institute while I was still doing that. And then uh, that the Art Institute became my full-time job and I taught there 18 years. So I've, I have always made art in some form, whether it's painting, drawing, film. Now it's sculpture, installation, basically this is one living installation. Right. So, uh, yeah, so I just, I was born a creative person and I always knew that um, I would make my living being creative. I didn't always know exactly what that meant, but I knew that cre my creativity would be the thing that people paid for. Yeah. We're gonna put some masonry anchors in this wall up here and tie these couple signs together. They're neon, it looks like everything made the trip to the job. It appears to be okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang a sign. How hard do you think it's gonna be today? How hot? Hard. Hard? Uh, just before we get a set up, it's not the only thing. I'm gonna have to short set a, an outrigger here because we're on a tight street, but looks pretty calm. <gasps> oh my god, look at that! It's so cool! It's so beautiful! I cannot believe it! Oh my god, that was so worth waiting for! Wow! Our names and lights! I know! <laughs> Man, they fit us like... Perfectly! Like visually, they representate us represent us Whatever. better than we could have even, Im clear. yeah, That's right. Awesome. We make up words. Better than we could have imagined. Yeah. It's very eye-catching. Mm -hmm. You notice it right away. Sometimes oh, yeah. you don't see, you know, when it's the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. um, it's very different and bright. It's and super <laughs> bright. They're super bright and we, it's amazing. We are a beacon for sure. Yeah. We hear that we have started a neon revolution on this side of the street. Like, two other businesses have already contacted you all as a result of this. Yeah, well, so. neon for art, nothing, it beats everything. It is the absolute best. If you're trying to do something really creative and pretty, neon is the best way to do it. We agree. Yeah. yeah. What made you guys choose science manufacturing to make your science? They were local. Yeah. from Garland. We wanted to keep it local. They came out immediately when we called, like within two days we'd had a meeting with our representative and the price was great. They worked with us on the design and, and didn't really tell us what we needed. We told them what we wanted and they met us there and it was such an easy process. So it was easy. amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. We kind of came in maybe think we, thinking we wanted one direction and just talking through the process, they really brought us back to what we really wanted, which was neon, mm -hmm. old school neon. And that's what we have and we couldn't be happier. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And from start to finish, any questions we had, we just pick up the phone and call and get them answered. Mm -hmm. um, the day of the installation day, big trucks outside and it, it was just- very exciting. It just went up so quickly <laughs> without a hitch. and. And they, they were happy for us, which mm -hmm. is exciting. It just wasn't us being happy for ourselves. It was just a fun day. Yeah, it was kind of a little party. It was yeah. really fun. Here is very, very cool. Oh, thank you so we much. It means that. a whole lot to, to hear that from someone who just walked, you're seeing it for the first time. Yeah. Uh, I have a Facebook page. It's the Froxy on Facebook. And on Instagram, I'm just me, at Tracy Claybrook. And I have a website, it's KarenWiseman.com, and I am Karen Wiseman Collection on Facebook and Instagram. On the next episode of Sign Dogs, we're going to learn all about House of Healing CBD. I've always wondered what the difference between CBD is and marijuana. Maybe I'll find out.
Ready? 